Hello there. Since you're on this page or this channel, you're probably interested in the um, EVA uh, platform. And I would like to show you around uh, a little bit um, what this project is, uh, is about. My name is Pavel Kutsmus and this is the EVA project page, documentation page which should have most of the specifics about it. Um, if you see something uh, wrong with it, let me know um, in, the, in the issues or in the Discord channel that's there below. Um, and I'll try to fix it. Um, so at this point, uh, EVA is being developed by um, many people, really. Um, Maybe not many of us are drawing the, uh, the the things, but the ideas come from many uh, different people, usually from the Discord channel, which again is linked below um, below this uh, page. So um, if you want to discuss something about this project, I would welcome you to to join us and um, work with us on this project. And what this project is about, it is pretty much about being a, a platform um, for 3D printers to allow for as many permutations per se of what people may have in their uh, drawers or you know loose um, parts from 3D printers that do not fit on their current printer and EVA is supposed to be the thing that would allow you to use whatever is your favorite drive or favorite hot, hot end on your 3D printer. Right now, the focus is mainly on Rattrix products, but um, I hope that will expand someday. Uh, when it comes to parts, there's really four basic uh, parts. There's the front, which is usually uh, specific to the hot end, um, the top, which is supposed to be specific to the drive, the back, which handles the motion system, Core XY, uh, Cartesian, IDEX have different backs. It also houses the layer fan and the butter, bottom part uh, that is supposed to be the uh, support of everything. And uh, it also uh, takes in uh, the layer fan duct. Um, over here you can download all of the STLs if you don't want to read this whole thing, navigate through this page, you just want an STL file, click this button, it will get you a, a zip file with all the STLs that are a part of this project and you should be able to uh, find it here. Uh, some mentions of the, uh, of the people who are supporting this project. Um, Issues, yeah, there's an issue tracker on GitHub, uh, report issues there. If you find some issues, enc enhancement uh, proposals, uh, stuff like that. Um, attributions, um, this is, yeah, to shout out to, uh, to shout out the other people with their amazing work. Uh, examples and contract with the uh, Ratwick server. When it comes to printing, um, Make sure you give it um, this much wall width. I use Prusa slicer, so for me it's four perimeters. Um, most of them can be printed in uh, 0.3 millimeter layer height. Um, some may be uh, to um, 0.2 millimeters, um, but 0.3 is kind of the default for me. Printing orientation. I know people would want to know, don't want to guess that, but it's just too much right now to for me to reorient all the parts. Uh, so um, the safe bet is to, for example, you see this big face over here, print on that face. No part should require a support. Uh, here's some uh, assembly 
tips, let's say, uh, I would like to show you um, the parts are being print printed without supports and there are uh, holes that are going to be flat or covered, blinded I say. Um, so what you want to do, you'll see that in the slicer, that's not an error, that's expected. What you want to do is take something even as dull as this Allen key and just poke those holes. With that, you get nice printability, no supports, less work for me, and um, this hole is now uh, accessible for the screw. When it comes to the screw, um, you need to pull the hex, when the screws and hex nuts, you need to pull the uh, screws, the nuts with the screw before you're actually uh, trying to mate two parts together. So drive a screw through, through your part so that this end of the screw sticks out. I know it's probably not very, it's not very visible for you, but that's the most I can do right now. You drive the nut in, align it properly with the hex hole, and then with the screw, drive the nut home. This will ensure that the nut is properly sitting in its hole and that it's parallel to the part. If you don't do that, there's a high chance that when you're driving a few parts together, the nut will bind or when you try to you know, press fit the nut against your desk or whatever, it may not come in parallel and then when you try to screw it in, it will bind the nut, wreck the part and you'll probably end up with at least two parts um, to be thrown away. Uh, so that's the solution for it. Please be aware of that. And going back to the documentation page, so yeah, that's what this handling hex nuts is about. Pokey pokey hole technique, what I showed you before. Uh, so Eva, as of now, because that list is growing, is supporting uh, five drives. BMG, and this is everything you need to know about the BMG. BMG M users, please, please read this part. Um, here's the bomb of the uh, of the whole assembly. You th this should list all of the parts that you need to print or get. You can sort those by printable name or quantity. And this is 486, Mosquito and Dragon. Titan, E3D is Titan. Um, same story. Um, there's this remix I, I did for uh, Titan's uh, arm over here uh, of uh, someone else's idea, which is linked over here. And that helps a little bit with the with the flexibles. Not that I would print uh, flexibles with Titan with a V6 over here, um, but maybe it's possible, I don't know. But it's at least helpful for uh, the Aero hotend, which is front heavy. Um, this is, uh, be warned, this may, because Aero is so, so big, it may steal some X and Y um, availability uh, from your, or I mean print space from your printer. Uh, the same note about the arm, and yeah, this is Aero. Uh, Hemera, same story as with Aero, it's very front heavy, uh, so it will, uh, it will take away some space from your printer, most likely. And Bowden, um, I don't expect anyone using it on a big or XY machine, but maybe for a mini, like a cantilever uh, printer or something like that, a Bowden may be, may be helpful. Um, you'll need those PC4 M6 connectors that will, that have um, the four millimeter, millimeter 
the hole through and through um, because you need to fit the bowden through it for it to grab the bowden tube. And with that, and yeah, they all support uh, V6, Mosquito and Dragon. With that, uh, we go into add-ons. So this is important because the default parts, as they are over here, are for MGM12 um, and Codex Y. So if you want to use those, for example, on a Vcast, you go into Cartesian, Cartesian and Edex, or Idex, and you should have um, the explanation on how to use it over here. But for example, Vcast is an MGN15 um, based printer, uh, I mean the rails, so you also need the MGN15 uh, add-on. Same goes for uh, Vcore Pro. Custom fan ducts, if you want a volcano or the RHD duct that I remixed um, from this work over here. Uh, so those are the kind of you know, remixes of the of the project or um, plugins or uh, whatever you want to call them, add-ons we call it uh, for the Eva platform that kind of change their its default behavior. MGN15. So to put it on an MGN15 carriage, um, you just need to use different top and bottom uh, parts. Bed probing, as of now, BL touch and an eight millimeter inductive probe holder over here. Here are the offsets uh, for those to configure in your firmware. The X end stop, uh, by default, it comes with this blind blank um, plug that is supposed to be there for, to allow some adjustment for your sensorless homing, but I use those uh, end stops um, on my printer. So if you want to use different end stops, this is the part you need to uh, you need to use for those or uh, remix to uh, for your carriage to take a different end stop. Step files and contribution, like every on every page that I just showed you, you have uh, the an on shape, on -shape link. Um, so if you want to pull step files or whatever, there's uh, a bunch more files over there, uh, file formats to be exported to, you may, um, you want to go to Onshape and export uh, the files that interest you. Contribution, that's hard to explain. Um, so maybe one day we will, uh, GPL 3.0 license and yeah, each project page has an Onshape link. That will allow you to get the uh, to get the parts you want, and that will be it. I hope you enjoy uh, your usage of the uh, Eva platform. Um, let me know what you think, and I hope to see you around. Thank you.